We're at Git Merge 2015 in beautiful Paris. We're bringing Git users and Git developers together. The Git Merge conference has a pretty long history. It started out where a number of the core Git developers would get together in person once a year or so and talk about what's happening in Git, um, what the future of Git is, what next steps are. We don't meet in person very often. We do all our work online. Uh, Git itself is organized around the mailing list, but uh, it's sometimes nice to get everybody in the same room at the same time. And also, it's really just nice to have a social meeting where we can all get to know each other a little bit better, and, uh, and that helps move along the, the online interactions. I think with the way that Git is, by being open source and by having conferences like Git Merge, we're able to see the tool itself continue to develop. There's other people contributing to it, and they're able to get into a room and say, hey, by the way, uh, we use this daily. We'd like to add this into Git Core, and we'd like everyone else to experience this too. And then ultimately, it's an open discussion, and you can actually see these changes come in. My name is Dave Borowitz. As Scott said, I work for the Git infrastructure team at Google, and today I want to talk about how we deal with big projects. I'm here to talk about what we've done at Google and see what uh, other people who are using Git might run into that we can help with. We feel a kind of pain that sometimes we think is unique, but is not really unique. So we've had our own ways of addressing problems of large repositories, of large development teams that uh, we've solved in sort of unique ways, but we want to share with the community as much as we can. The strength that Git has, of course, with all software communities is its community. And I think that the passion that people bring to Git is going to keep Git alive for quite some time. It will be up to the community of developers to figure out what are the things that, that are missing from the tool chain and how can we support the development of the code to let those features grow. They're taking time to come here and say the software is important, this community is important, and I want to help and contribute as it grows.